What? Blocked Of course we are. There's nothing else. They close at eight. It literally would be to get there for an hour and it's not worth it because then the rides are like an hour. <sighs> well, today was a major fail. I don't want to go to celebration. This Wi-Fi sucks. Well, first of all, we go to a, in celebration, we had this random Wi-Fi called Giga Monster. Never in my life have heard of Giga Monster in my life. Whatever. <laughs> my life twice. But, but I never had an issue. And if I did, it came like, I don't know, like months in between. Not bad at all. The way that today, I've literally lost uh, Wi-Fi more than 20 times. More than 20 times, 20 times, and that is not exaggerating. Literally within the morning, it was at least 10 times, and it would just go in and out. It would like, I'm working, and then I would see that it said like no internet, and then I wait 10 minutes, and it would show back up. And it happened all day, and it's happening right now. Literally within this freaking video, in this second, it's happening. It's so annoying. This week has just been interesting. Today, I thought I was gonna be like, ending a little earlier and it just didn't happen and I am like hard on myself on like a work situation which is not really a situation but like I just like things to get done well and get done fast and when they're not and people are waiting on me I hate that crap like I hate it when people are waiting on me for something I don't like that feeling especially when they said like I was it was going to be done by a certain time and because things came out of my control they were not done on time it frustrates me so that was frustrating today and I've been working and you know I've done the morning montage and I feel like it's I don't know it's getting did it just go out again anyway so I'm trying to figure out something to do because I don't want to stay in because a it's nice and cold outside and like for Floridians you got to like you gotta you know take advantage of christmas weather and then also like i need to get out of this apartment because i've just been frustrated all day and not really it was fine it was it was looking good and then until it wasn't and it's just like frustrating when things are out of my control they are frustrating so annoying <laughs> it's the little things I'm gonna take a quick shower. I need to just like restart. Like I look so interesting right now, but it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna look better. Um, I I just need to like get a restart on the day, even though it's 6 p.m. I think we're gonna go to Disney Springs, and because they do like a lot of cute Christmas stuff, and like right now I don't really want to travel far to do anything. Um, but today has been like blah, so I want to get out and not let the day ruin the night. Okay, that was nice, that was needed. I'm going to quickly do my makeup because it's really just a very chill day, night out date night if you will i love disney springs i feel like isaiah and i are very into doing touristic things even though like i would say disney springs is pretty touristic but we don't i don't know i feel like orlando has a lot of stuff and then doesn't at the same time where like 
you okay let's just say in California there's different neighborhoods that you could drive to and then there's like in there it's like a community and you can walk there you could be there for like two hours if you wanted you could walk around you can go to little shops you can go to coffee shops you can go to restaurants I don't feel like we necessarily have a lot of that here in Orlando that's like trendy quote unquote like I feel like there is College Park, Winter Park, maybe Winter Garden, um, but it's like not necessarily like the same. And if you've gone elsewhere, it's like you know what I'm talking about. Even in Dallas, when we were in Dallas um, earlier this year, I was so shocked by like, oh, there's this neighborhood, and it's like so cute. I feel like I feel like Winter Park should be what like Hyde Park is to Tampa like Tampa did a really good job of like they have like an anthropology store they have an ice cream shop they have like really good restaurants in that area in Hyde Park and it's like beautiful houses Winter Park has more like mom and pop shops that are not like it's like random and if you've been to Winter Park like you know what I'm talking about and listen I support like small shops but like if you know, if you've gone to Winter Park, I feel like you would get what I'm trying to say, like, where it's just kind of random. Anyway, all that to say is that I like going to Disney Springs whenever I'm like, I don't know what else to do. All I know is that in Disney Springs, there's a bunch of restaurants we can go to, there's stores, there's entertainment, there is, you know, I don't know. I like it. Where like in College Park, it's like you have like certain like restaurants, but I wouldn't say like you should walk in College Park area. Like, you know, you just go to your destination and then like leave. Winter Park, you can definitely like walk around and it's very cute. They have like really good restaurants and stuff, but like once you like have grown up here or have been here for X amount of years, you're like, all right, like, how many times can I go to this restaurant? Like, and it's not like they keep evolving. I feel like it's like the same, the same stuff. So it's kind of, oh, Lord. today drained me. Really excited next week. Obviously, it's Christmas. I wish that it was like always in a specific date. You know, like how um how thanksgiving is always on a thursday only because i feel like this year uh christmas is on a sunday new year's is new year's day is sunday you're just like oh i have to go through the week completely and then i don't know it doesn't feel like let's take the weekend off it's like oh it's sunday but the next day work or even Tuesday, I think we observe Christmas Day, the Monday, but then it's like Tuesday, so you you know, like you go back to work, and then you, we observe the second as New Year's Day, but I don't know. And then my birthday, my 30th birthday, y'all, is on a Sunday as well. So I, it's like so much pressure turning 30. And like, if you think about it too much, it can get like, oh my God, not scary, but kind of like there's so much expectation. Like people do dirty 30 and like people do so much for their birthday. And I've been seeing since forever that on my 30th birthday I want to go to Europe but then as I thought about it my birthday's in January my birthday everywhere anywhere is so miserable like you go anywhere besides tropical miserable and we were like playing around with ideas and like I don't know so Isaiah turns 30 in May of this year so I was like we should just wait till your birthday to go to Europe and it's a celebration of both of our birthdays because May is just like the best time of year. I feel like 
even in Florida, it's great weather. It's like, it's not summer weather. And so I want to go to Europe, hopefully in that time frame. We haven't really landed or decided on where. And I feel like as the time comes, like we definitely need to think about that. But um, that's the plan and goal is to go to Europe for his birthday slash my birthday and have like a joint celebration. Um, I don't want to do like a big party at all whatsoever. And even like, like when I was younger, when I was in high school, I enjoyed all of that. I had parties all the time. Like I wanted so many people. I wanted like, even if I never talked to you that often, I'm like, you're coming, you're invited. Like we're doing this crap now i'm just like i'm not really wanting to do that even even in january like even for my 30th like i don't necessarily want like a big i don't want to party and i also like probably don't want to do like a dinner i like i don't know i get so weird on my birthdays um and i don't know i have some ideas but like they require like me and idea um just because i feel like i don't know parties now for me or like gatherings for me i feel like i have to like talk and it's like I, if people are not talking i feel like oh they're bored so then i have to like entertain and i'm like no it's like my birthday like i don't want to be feeling bad because other people aren't talking and maybe like i get like that where i'm just like oh you're not talking are you okay and then it could be so random it could be like oh they just had like a really bad day or they like had an argument with their husband or boyfriend like in the car but then i take it on and then i have a bad day because you had a bad day and i was like i'm not doing that like for my 30th i don't want to do that so um so i have some ideas for like january um but we'll see and then it's on a sunday too so it's just like lame energy And then it's like, I've done Miami for my birthday. I've done parties. I've gone to Disney so many times on my birthday, which I love Disney, but like, it would just be like, because we have passes, it's kind of like, I don't know. And then I get very like, I get very like emotional I get like but I've been like that since I can remember like even when I like doing parties before the party I'd be like sad or like oh my god but then during the party I'm like having fun so I don't know I think it was for my 28th birthday yeah I did a spa in like the four seasons and like Disney property and that was so worth it. I did like an hour and a half or two hours and I upgraded while she was giving me the massage. I was like, yeah, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the two. <laughs> Cause like I felt like it was like wrapping up and I had just like felt relaxed and I'm like, no, it's my birthday. So that's something to consider. Like I just wanna be pampered and like I wanna feel like zen, you know? I don't want to have to worry about anything, anyone, like, not that I do because I'm not even a mom. I'm just like, I don't know. I think I just overthink. So when I have events that are people are there, I just feel like I have to like, da, 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 hey, and I don't want to do that. I want to just enjoy what I like doing. So we'll see what I end up, we'll see what I end up doing. I'm turning 30. And like, I honestly don't feel my age. I've never felt my age. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be those people that's like 50, 60 years old acting like I'm 40 because I don't feel my age. But it is what it is. I look young, so that helps. I used to hate that and then now that I get older, I'm like, I look pretty young, which is fine with me. So, but I definitely want to save up like 
all my all my money, all my excitement to a Europe trip for the summer or the start of summer, it's May. And then that's also something that it's not like, I don't wanna go, people have said that they travel like beginning of summertime cause like it's just, the prices are better for hotels. Like it's not crazy packed. So that's something that I wanna do. Um, so for our honeymoon, we went to Paris and that was late August, early September. And it was like the best, the best, the best, best weather, best time. I feel like I, I've gone to Paris in Christmas time and I had a blast, but it was packed and it was freezing. And that's why I know I don't want to go in winter time because I thoroughly like being outside and enjoying like sunsets and like being able to just like explore and not be freezing and I so my brother my sister used to live in France I'm just chatty my sister used to live in France for several years because her husband my brother-in-law played um, basketball out there and so for Christmas one year I can't even remember my entire family went to Paris and then my brother ended up proposing in the Eiffel Tower which was pretty epic so that was like a really fun trip um but we all remember being so 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 cold that you did not want to be outside because it's just like it was like too hurtful to be outside um so that's why i'm like i'm not gonna spend all that money and be freezing you know like there's a time and place and like for my 30th i want to i want to go to Europe and enjoy the, the weather. Um, we've always said we wanted to go to uh, spend a Christmas in London and that's still like a bucket list. Um, but for this specific trip, I don't want to be bundled up. So hopefully that happens and you will see every part of that. We loved Paris so much we considered going back, but I'm like, no, we need to see new things. Like we need to see new countries and new cities and I don't want to keep going to the same places, you know? I'm glad like we're going out because I could have just easily like stay inside. Like I was so tempted to just like lay in the couch, scroll on social media, but I was like, I'm not in the mood right now, but I'm going to be in the mood in an hour to go out, you know? Um, because it was just like such an annoying day. Like I hate when things don't go like the way that I planned it to go, especially like, I think regarding more like with work, like I never want to be that person that says like, Hey, this was due or this will be due and then it's not I hate that like for myself when people do it to me and like that I was the one that did that it's just like annoying and thankfully like everybody's understanding it's like not a big deal it's literally just like a website edit situation but like things are just like out of my control and it really just like bugs me I would say more than anything it just annoys me that I couldn't like instead of emailing like hey, this is completed, like whatever. I had to email like an explanation of why it's not done. And I just cannot. Bugs me. <laughs> okay, this is my outfit. It's kind of cold outside. What's the temperature like? Degrees. Okay, it's pretty cold. Okay, I'm gonna put on the flower bomb perfume. I'm so excited. It smells so good. Do you remember when you got me this for Christmas? <laughs> Was that like our first Christmas exchange? I think so. That's when I got the Converse. That's the yeah, we to university. Converse <laughs> Do you want to see the story about my dad? 
Huh? Oh yeah. Go ahead. Do you want to? What did you say? Did you know that I wanted this perfume? Yes. I even I told him. So I can't remember how it happened, but basically I think I told Isaiah that I wanted this perfume. And I might have told my dad that I wanted it too. And honestly, I don't know why I would do both. Maybe, I, I don't know. And I think, so Isaiah said that he told my dad that he was going to get me this perfume. And obviously, I was not aware. So then Christmas morning comes and I'm like, oh my God, I got the perfume. I think I sent a picture to you. Yeah. Of the perfume. And then he got so mad because. Just the perfume. You got the whole pack. He gave me this whole like set. I got you just the perfume. <laughs> so then I sent a picture to Isaiah and he's like, awesome and then when he comes to my house he's like i actually gave you that too but just the perfume <laughs> um which i'm like hey i had it for long probably because of it